We're going to keep those thumbs up, small little circles. And we'll switch directions. And let's go to crossovers. You guys have any thumbs up if you have any music going? No. All right, let's go big arm circles forward, keeping those thumbs up. And switch. All right, let's go into neck rolls nice and easy. And switch directions. Let's go and do some shoulder shrugs. Up, back, in down. Up, back, down. There you go. We get into a little bit more of fluid motion there. There we go. And switch directions. I go up and forward. All right, so from here we're going to do four point squats. I'll bring those arms up. We're going to hinge down, grab those ankles, get into that squat, keep the elbows inside your knees, and one up and up. And then come standing up through that hip. We'll keep cycling through. Yeah, you guys go good. So, Randy, if you're following along here, I'm going to go up, grab the ankles, squat, arm up, arm up. <laughs> And back up standing. There you go. Yeah, keep cycling through that, guys. Cassie, I don't have any uh, audio on you, but I'm sure you're following uh, any visual on you, but I'm sure you're following along. Yeah. Do a couple more, guys. I'll give up two more in. Really sit into that squat. And a little more. All right, from here we'll go to lateral squats now. So we'll be here, standing vertical. And let's just step to the side, sit back on that hip, back in the middle, and then we'll step back out and back on that hip. Make sure, guys, when we're doing this, that we're not just coming up here and kind of leaning forward. We want to sit back on that hip. So sit back and up. Yeah, there you go, guys. Good. Nice show. We'll get one more each side. All right, good. Let's go to the ground. We're going to cat cows now. You guys all know cat cows are. Right, we're going to be that tabletop. Breathe out as you push it back up. And then right back down to a nice flat back. Really push that spine up towards the ceiling. There we go. Yep. Okay, we'll get a couple more. All right, let's go to bird dogs. So from here, take your right arm. Out overhead, the left, look, right, left leg goes back, back to that tabletop, and then left arm, right leg. You come out, really push that butt, goes left leg up straight, squeeze the glute. Yeah, there we go. Nice job, guys.
keep going there with that bird dog. All right, from here we're going to fire hydrants. So now all we're going to do is stay in that same position. We're going to kick that hip, that leg out to the side, like a dog feet on a fire hydrant. We go alternate sides each time. Yep, just keep going, cycle through it. There we go. Perfect. And we can either do these alternating or on the same leg. If you do them on the same leg, I would switch to the other side now. And from there, let's go do a low plank from there. Keep those elbows right underneath our, right underneath our shoulders. All right, there, just hold that plank. We need to come up in the high plank and hold that right there. Nice job, guys. Start feeling that lower back, pick that butt up a little bit. Nice job. All right, now let's go up to a high plank now. So now let's go up into those shoulders right here. Same thing, if you start feeling in that lower back, pick that butt up a little bit and keep holding it. Make sure the hands stay underneath our shoulders. Nice job, guys. A couple more seconds. All right, let's hop up to, the, up to our feet now. From here, we're going to come right into squats. Just regular squats here, bending at the hip or breaking the hip, and that squat coming up through the hips. So you actually, uh, Megan, if you can tilt yours down a little bit, all I can really see is like your, your head bobbing. Yeah, there you go, right? That's that's better right there. Perfect. Well, it's it's my iPad's in a stand, so I can only put it oh, so I got you. Okay. Alright, let's go to jumping jacks now. Get that heart rate going. We're here, or we're here, stepping on the side, keeping those arms moving. There we go, guys. Good. Job. And let's go back into squats. All right, back. Nice job, guys. All right, did we have a band? Did we got a band here? Let's go with some band pull aparts. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Nice, slow, and control the way back in. Really pinch those shoulder blades, hold it there for a second and come back to the middle. All right, let's go some a little bit of overhead presses. Now we'll step inside that band, get the elbows inside as well. From here, press straight up overhead. There we go. Remember, guys, we don't want, we come up, we don't want to be leaning back with those hips right in line. Push, it, push our hands right up to head level. There you go. And let's go to the thruster now. 
Add the squat into it. Squat, go right press. There we go, guys, good. All right, good, how's everybody feeling? Sounds like we feel good, ready to go? All right. So today, tonight, we've got a single arm dumbbell overhead press. So depending on what you guys have for weights, you might be able to use even your kettlebell or anything to be a little bit heavier, even if your the weight's a little bit too low. But what we'll do, start here in one arm. I start here with a neutral grip. And as I press up, we're gonna rotate. Yeah, you can't really see me standing all the way up. I'll kneel down for it. So here, we got the, the palm facing the opposite direction, a neutral grip. As we press up, we're gonna rotate with the palm. It will now be facing in front of us. So here, fully extend the elbow, back down, back up. We'll do one side at a time. Do 30 seconds on one side, switch over, same thing on the other. And then we're gonna hop up and go to an alternating suitcase deadlift, a kettlebell or any heavy weight that we can find. We'll do it with it. Starting on one side of us, we'll step up. I like to put it just at the beginning of my toe, the knuckles of my toes. And from here, we're just gonna deadlift, keeping our upper body straight ahead. We're gonna hinge down into that deadlift. Pick that up, come to the top. We'll go 30 seconds again per side. So every rep from here will look just like our normal deadlift. Just rolling loading up one side of the body and then the other. From there, we're going to a reverse crunch. And for that, we're on our back. All right, brace our lower back by pushing that belly button into the floor. Here, you can put your arms down. 90 degree on the legs, start off, kick them out nice and controlled, and as you come in, really tuck those knees into the chest, and back up. Just like that. We'll do 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We'll do four rounds. Ready? All right. Let me get the uh, timer, wherever I put that at, right here. All right, we're going in three, two, one, and go. Starting with that overhead press. We'll start in our whichever hand here, rotate up. Make sure that, make sure our body isn't dipping down to one or other side. Upper body stays perfectly straight. Press up. Again, our back doesn't swing back, hyper extend at all. We got three more seconds. All right, shall we take 15? If you need to, guys, you can use the band to actually make this a little bit tougher. The weight's a little too light. I'll demo that at this time. We're going in three, two, one, and go. If you need to, you can take that band here and make it a little more strenuous on the shoulder. Makes it quite a bit more strenuous, actually. Wow, this. Good job, guys. We got three more. All right. From here, we're going to that alternating suitcase deadlift. We'll set up on one side. We're going to five. Three, two, one, and go. Staying soft on the knees. Hinge down, pick that kettlebell up. And from here, we're just gonna do our regular deadlift. Kicking that butt back, stretching the back of the leg, keeping the upper body straight. And right back down in. There you go, guys, good. Nice. And let's switch over to the other side.
We're going in five. Ready and go. Hey go. Nice job, Randy, Angela. Megan, good. Cassie, still can't see you, but I know you're chugging along with us. All right, we're going to the reverse crunch on the floor. We're going in six seconds. So down, ready, set, and go. Thank you, nice job, guys. Nice, slow control of the way out, good job. Few more seconds. And good. Pop them back up, grab that dumbbell going back to that overhead press. Start on the same arm we did first time through. And three. Two, one, and go. There we go. Make sure we're not dipping that back. Nice. Looks like Randy's dog's finally leaving her alone compared to the workout the other night. And go to the switch. Take a few seconds here. If we're doing this properly, guys, you're going to feel a little bit on each side of your core. We're going in three, two, one, and go. There you go, nice. You guys come down. Try not to bring that weight lower than your ear or jaw here. You don't want to come all the way down here. Just put that front delt in not the gray spot. So here and up. There you go. Very good. And we're going back to that deadlift. Again, starting on the same side as we did the first time. Going to five. There you go. And go. Nice job, guys. Way to keep that back straight. Boss are coming back. Good job. You guys are perfect. And we're switching over to the other side. We're going in five. Now five. Ready and go. Stay soft on those knees. Feel the stretch there in your hamstring and glutes. Nice. We got a few more. All right. Back in that reverse crunch. Going to 10. And three. Two, one, and go. There you go. Nice job, guys. Keep pushing that belly button into the floor, supporting that lower back. Nice job.
Got a few more seconds. All right, coming right back into that overhead press. And five. Get up and ready. And press. There you go, guys, good. Okay, so if you need to add more weight, grab that band and use that as well as dumbbell. There we go. And switch. Going to 10. And five. Ready? And go, press. There you go, nice job, guys. Shoulders should be burning a bit by now. As we come up, try to bring that shoulder up to the ear. There you go. Right, let's go on to the uh, deadlift again. Going to five. Ready and go. Oh, Angela, we lost you, but still says you're up here, so that's good. I'm sure you're still going. And you're back. And we're switching sides. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, is while we're doing this seat suitcase deadlift, as we're deadlifting, we don't want the weight away from us out here or behind us or anything. We want that right from the right of the leg. Same pattern, just a couple inches up in front. And go. We got 10 more seconds. And good, back to the reverse crunch. Going in three, two, one, and go. There we go, good job guys. There we go, the longer we control those legs out there, the better it's gonna be for us in the long run. Nice. And good, we're up and back up. We'll go through one more time. Sorry, off that overhead press. And three, ready and go. There we go. Someone's there fixing Angela's camera. Thank you. We got five more seconds here. Well, you guys, my shoulders are burning. And good, switch the sides. Going to 10. Let's get that up and ready. In three, two, one, and go. Make sure our knees aren't stiff and not locked out. We got a little bit of give in them.
There we go, guys. Nice job. You guys all doing great. Keeping, keeping your bodies even, keeping your shoulders even. And last one, good. All right, we're going back to that deadlift one more time. And five. Ready and go. Nice job. Really push those hips forward to the top, squeeze those glutes. There we go, good. We're switching sides. Going in 10. Three, two, one and go. There we go. Good, guys. Keep pushing those butts back. Nice. Get that stretch. Got a few more seconds. And go, we're going back to that reverse crunch. Ready and go. While we're doing this guys, if we start feeling it in our lower back a little bit, let's just suck that belly button back in and not go out as far with our legs. Nice, good job, guys. Hey, good. Let's, uh, let's take 30 seconds here, guys. Grab a drink, whatever you guys need. We'll go on to the second part. All right, so I'll start explaining what we're doing here. We're gonna have all movements that you guys know. It's gonna be jumping jacks into a plank, low or high, either one. Right into mountain climbers. We'll be weary of those shoulders. <laughs> See Megan's face there, she loves it. And those shoulders start to get tired, guys. You come up, you want a bench, chair, bed, anything like that, you preserve the shoulders a little bit. But from the mountain climbers, we're going to a Superman with a pull at the top. So what will that look like is our normal Superman will be here. But as we come up here, we're going to track those shoulder blades, squeeze them back, and we're just going to pull. It's like we're doing a lat pull now. Tucking the elbows into our sides, back down, up, and squeeze back. We'll do the same thing. would be 45 seconds. And 15 seconds off. We'll go through three times. And by the time we're up, kicked out here. There we go. All right, you guys ready? And go. Start with jumping jacks. Here we go. Randy's arms moving so fast, you can't even see him on the camera. They're just... Good job, Randy, good job. Nice job, guys. We got 20 more seconds. Ten more. And good, take 15. We're going into a low plank or a high plank, either one. We're going to five. 
Ready? And go. Do it right here. Same thing. Keep squeezing that, suck that belly button into the into your spine. Make sure the elbows stay underneath our shoulders and keep breathing. There we go, guys. Good. If we start feeling a little bit on our lower back, just pick that butt up off the ground a little bit. Nice. We got 15 more seconds. Eight more. Keep breathing, guys. Good job. All right. Take 15. We're going into mountain climbers. Like you said, the shoulder's starting to burn. Do it from an elevated position or just stay right down to the floor. We're going to three, two, one, and go. Pump those knees into the chest. Hands underneath the shoulders. There we go, good job. Got 30 more. Keep those backs nice and straight. Good job. There you go, guys, nice. We got 15 more. There you go, nice knee drive. Those shoulders are so burning, I say, guys. Take a quick second also. Three, two, one, and go. We're going to the Supermans with a pull. All right, we're going in 10. So remember, when we, when we pull the shoulders, pull the arms back, we're keeping those shoulders attracted the whole way. Ready, and go. Doesn't have to be a fast movement. Nice. Keep going. So really, kind of like those band pull parts when we think about squeezing the grate between our shoulder blades. Track the shoulders just like that. Big guys, perfect for Amy. Awesome. We got a dozen more. Nice work, guys. Five more seconds. All right, we're hopping back up, going back in jumping jacks. In 10. Three, two, one, and go. 45 more seconds. I got this squeaky part on the floor that I'm jumping on. Yeah, this one don't seem much better. Halfway. Ten more seconds. Good. Going to the plank again. In ten. Three, two, one, and go. Elbows and the shoulders. There you go. Keep breathing. Thanks, job. Pulling those elbows. I need to show them, pull them towards the gut. There you go. Good. All right. Back in those mountain climbers. Whew. We're going to five. 
Okay, guys, we can go from the floor and go. Or if we have something here with an elevated surface, we can still pump those knees real well. There you go. Nice job, guys. We can keep those feet pumping. We got 20 more seconds. Ten more. Three, two, one. Good. All right, we're going to the Superman's with that pull. We're going in five. Ready and go. There you go. Good. Wait, tuck those shoulders back. Good job. All right, so we pull it back. Pull those arms in, hold it for two to three seconds. And then let go again. Go up back forward. There you go. Perfect, guys. We got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Good. We're hopping back up. Going through one more time from the top. Jumping jacks. One more round. And we're going in five. Three, two, one. One and go. Let's go, guys. Keep those arms and legs moving. Three, two, one, good. Going back to the plank. It's got a coronavirus vaccine available now. I think it's fake. And go. Right with that low plank or high plank, either one. There we go, nice job, guys. And remember, suck, suck that belly button into your spine. Drive it up through. Nice job, guys. We got another 22 seconds. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and good. Head to the mountain climbers. Stay right down there. In five, three, two, one, and go. Remember as we get tired, those shoulders and that will ride up the hand. We want to sit back on them, but keep them here underneath your shoulders. Thirty more. There you go. Take as we do this in the last round. If you guys get tired, All right, take two or three seconds to get going again. We've got ten more seconds. You guys got this. Finish strong here. Keep those legs driving. Three, two, one, and good. All right, last time, those Supermans with the pull. In five, three, 
two, one, and go. There you go, good. So as we come out with those arms, all right, ride them only. Let those arms come in and then go all the way back out before you drop them out of the rack. Yeah, awesome. We got 20 more seconds. There you go, guys. 10 more. And good. All right, guys, take a drink. Whip off some sweat if you need to. We're going to go on the finisher. And they can tell me, no way. All right, so for the finisher, guys, don't worry, it's not going to be as cardio as that was. We got some banded curls. Go right for those banded curls, right into thrusters. All right, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Try to keep a higher tempo while staying safe. All right, we don't go too high of the tempo that we start just going all wacky all over the place. All right, still stay safe. But it's only 20 seconds, we want to try to get as many reps of those in safely in 20 seconds. I'm gonna adjust the timer. Oop. There we go. Do four rounds. All right. You guys ready? Starting with those bandy curls. In three, two, one, and go. You step right inside the band. All right, make sure they're starting off with tension. Elbows stay right to our sides. We just hinge at the elbow. I'm really like I said, trying to get some tempo going here. We're going right into thrusters. So here they just go right into the arms in five. Ready and go. All right, go back to curls. And five. Ready and go. Remember to keep those elbows at our sides. If we get tired, burn and take a second and get going again. All right, and the thrusters again. And three, two, and go. And Bell's shoulders on fire. Halfway through it, going back to curls. That's fine, Megan. That's totally fine. The band's, the band's not liking it anymore. So it's just some light dumbbells. And we're going. Woo! Man, my boxes are going. Ah. Five more. Oh, into thrusters. I'm going three, two, one, and go. All right, as we get tired, really use the legs to get that band up. The momentum from the legs will help release some of the stress in the shoulder. All right, in the curls. Last time through. 
Ready? And go. Oh my goodness. Brady's laughing. All right, thrusters one last time. Three, two, one, and go. Get one more. All right, guys. Good job. I don't like this band anymore. Throw it away. <laughs>